In this video, I'm going to be going over INS in WordPress in a complete INS WordPress tutorial so you can successfully get your WordPress site created. Not only will I be going over the steps in signing up with INS Web Hosting, I'll be covering how to install WordPress on INS, how to set up WordPress on INS, along with showing you how to create your site with professional WordPress templates using a drag and drop editor, making building your WordPress site quick and easy. I'll also be providing you with an INS discount so you can save some money on your INS web hosting purchase. You get INS for as low as $1 a month plus a free domain name. Let's get started with the INS WordPress tutorial. The first thing you want to do to get started with INS in WordPress is to click the link in the description below so you can be taken to INS and so you can take advantage of the INS discount, getting you web hosting for as low as $1 a month plus a free domain name. The discount is automatically applied. A little disclosure, the link is an affiliate link, meaning I receive a commission from INS at no extra cost to you. Plus you'll get an awesome INS discount. Once you click the link in the description below, you'll be on the INS web hosting page. Click the see plans button to be taken to the INS plans. You'll see three different INS plans you can choose from, the essential, business, and expert plan. You'll see you can get hosting for a lower price for the first 12 months. You'll get INS hosting for as low as $4 a month with the essential plan, $1 a month with the business plan, and $8 a month with the expert plan. The essential plan is a good plan if you're going to have one website or just starting out. The essential plan comes with one website. This plan comes with 10 gigabytes of storage, 10 databases, basic CPU and MEM resources, one email account, and a free domain name with an annual term. The business plan is a good plan as it comes with unlimited websites, unlimited storage, unlimited databases, enhanced CPU and MEM resources for better site performance, one email account, and a free domain name with an annual term. The expert plan is a good plan as it comes with unlimited websites, unlimited storage, unlimited databases, maximum CPU and MEM resources for even better site performance over the essential and business plans, one email account, and a free domain name with an annual term. Click the add to cart button on the plan you'd like to select. For this tutorial, I'll select the business plan. You'll now be on a page where you can select your domain name for your site. Type in a domain name you'd like to go with, click the check button. It'll now say if your domain is available or not. If it's available, you'll see good news, your domain is available. You'll see it's free for the first year. Click the add to cart button. You'll now see domain guard. Domain guard is an optional add-on you can add. Domain guard provides protection to your domain by making some user actions locked so that hackers or third parties can't take over your domain and make changes to it. With Domain Guard, you can specify certain email addresses that can make certain changes and settings to the domain name. Click the Continue button to proceed. You'll now be on a page where it'll give you the option to add an INS add-ons to your web hosting purchase. These are completely optional and up to you whether you want any or not. The first add-on is List Local Essential. List Local Essential will share your business with the 25 most important directories. This add-on can save you time as it'll sync your business information with these directories instead of individually creating accounts for each directory and managing on its own. Next is High Drive Basic. High Drive Basic is cloud storage for your site that provides automatic backups anytime. It comes with 100 gigabytes of cloud storage and anywhere data access. The next add-on is SiteScan and Repair. SiteScan and Repair is powered by SiteLock and detects and automatically removes malware on your site for up to 500 web pages. It also comes with daily spam and blacklist monitoring and fully automated malware removal. Feel free to add any of these add-ons to your INS purchase, completely optional. Click the Continue button You'll now be on the INS cart page. You'll see your INS web hosting plan and the price. You'll see free private registration being selected. This comes free for the first year. 
I highly recommend keeping this selected. Free private registration protects your personal information showing in the public who is database so that spammers and telemarketers don't get hold of your information to flood your email or phone with offers of their services. When you register a domain name, no matter what company you choose, the domain goes into the public who is database as domain names are regulated. With domain privacy, it'll show INS's default contact information instead of yours. Highly recommend private registration. Scroll down and you'll see the recommended add-ons. Ranking Coach Essential will provide you with step-by-step -step guides on improving your Google ranking. You'll see Manage WordPress. This provides you with a wide range of plugins and themes and INS will update your website automatically in the background. You'll now see the Checkout with PayPal button and the Continue button. Click Checkout with PayPal if paying with PayPal. Click the Continue button if paying another way. You'll now be on the new to INS page. I'm going to click Continue to Checkout. You'll now be on the Create a New Account page. You want to input your billing information. Next, select the option for the domain registration information. Choose a password for your INS account. Click the continue to payment options. You'll now be where you want to input your payment information in. Once you are done, click the continue to order review button. You'll now be on the confirm and place your order page. Scroll down and accept the terms and conditions. The second option is optional and up to you whether you want to select it or not. Scroll down to the bottom of the page under the order now button and you'll see your personal phone pin showing. You can change the pin to something you like if you want. This will be used for contacting INS support to verify your identity. To complete your INS purchase, click the order now button. You've now successfully purchased INS. INS will now email you a receipt and information about your purchase. You'll now be directed to a thank you for your order page. It'll begin setting up your cPanel. Once it is done, click the get started button. You'll now be on a page where it says welcome to your new web project. You'll see WordPress. Click the start now button. You'll now be on the WordPress installation page. You want to input your site title name. Click the create website button. You'll now be on a page where you want to input the login information you want for your WordPress site and installation. Click the continue button to proceed. You'll now see manage WordPress and WordPress. I'm going to click continue with WordPress. The manage WordPress is a paid feature. Feel free to select it if you want it. You'll now want to select a domain for your WordPress installation. From the drop down, choose a domain and click the assign domain button. INS will now begin setting up your website. This won't take long. Once it is done, it'll say congratulations your new website is online. Click the edit website button to go to the WordPress login page where you can log into WordPress to begin creating your WordPress site. Before we go to WordPress, we want to make our site secure with a free SSL certificate provided by INS. You'll see the red padlock icon. Click this. It'll now bring you to the INS SSL certificates page. Before you can do this step, you want to make sure you verify your email address with your domain name via the email that was sent by INS. You have to complete that step before you can activate the free SSL certificate on your site. After you've done that, you'll see the SSL starter wizard option. This option is a free option. Click the activate now button. You now be on the setup SSL certificate page. If you click into the domain section, it'll pull up domains you have. I'll select my domain name. Agree to the terms and conditions and click the Setup SSL Certificate button. It'll begin setting up your SSL certificate for your site. Once it is done, it'll say Operation Successfully Completed. Click the OK button. Under Status, you'll now see a check icon. If you hover over it, 
it will say your domain is secure. Click Menu in the top left of the page. Select the Websites and Stores option. You'll see the Edit Website button. You'll now be taken to the WordPress login page where you can log into WordPress to begin in creating your site. You'll see a Welcome to WordPress by INS the first time you log in. INS can help you get started with WordPress. It'll guide you through picking a theme and choosing from suitable plugins for your WordPress site. If you want to proceed with that option, click the Let's Go button. Underneath, you can select I want to configure WordPress installation myself. I'm going to choose I want to configure WordPress installation myself. You'll now be in the WordPress dashboard. Before we get started with anything else in WordPress, we want to change our site from using HTTP to HTTPS so it is secure. From the WordPress dashboard, hover over the settings icon, click general. You'll see the WordPress address URL and WordPress site address URL. Change both from HTTP to HTTPS. Scroll down to the bottom and click Save Changes. You'll now be logged out of WordPress and taken to the login page. Just log back into WordPress. At the top in the menu, you'll see your site title name. Hover over this and you'll see Visit Site. Click this. You'll see your site is now secure using HTTPS. Hover over your site title name and click Dashboard. Now we're going to pick out a theme to begin creating a site. To pick out a theme for your site, on the far left you will see tabs. Find the Appearance tab and hover over it. Click Theme says this is where you can pick out a theme for your site. Next, click Add New Theme. You'll now see WordPress themes that you can choose from. There's thousands of free themes to choose from. Now I want to show you how to access free professionally designed WordPress themes and how to edit them easily with the drag and drop editor. Type in Astra in the search field. Click the install button. Once it is done installing, click the activate button. Once it is done activating the theme, you want to find the plugins tab in the side menu. Click add new. In the search field, type in Starter Templates. You want to click Install on it, then click Activate. Hover over the Appearance tab in the side menu, click on Starter Templates. You now want to click the Build Your Website button. Choose Elementor for the page builder. It'll now showcase a bunch of WordPress themes that you can create your site with using drag and drop. You can type in the type of website you want to create to pull up templates based on that. You'll see a bunch of categories you can hover over and select to build your site. If you click a theme, it'll show you what it will look like so you can preview it. Click the X button to go back to the themes page. Now let me walk you through the steps on how to choose your theme and build your site with the drag and drop editor, Elementor Page Builder. Select the theme you want. I'll choose this one. You can upload a logo if you'd like. You can do this at a later time, so if you don't have one now, no worries. Click the skip and continue button. You now want to choose the colors and font for your site. You can update these at a later time or change them whenever you'd like. Click the Continue button. You now be on the Tell us a little about yourself. You don't have to fill this out if you don't want to. Just make sure under Advanced Options you have each one selected. Click the Submit and Build My Website button. It'll begin building your website. Once it is done, you'll be on the Congratulations page. Click the View Your Website button. It'll now take you to your website and what it looks like. Now let's go over how to make edits to the WordPress theme and how to use the drag and drop editor to create your site. To make edits to your site, click the Edit with Elementor tab on the top of the page. It'll now bring you to the drag and drop editor 
where you can create your site quick and easy. To make edits to a part of the page, just click where you want to make edits and start making edits. I can change a wonderful gift to my demo website. If you want to make edits to the background image, right click on the section. Click edit selection, click style, hover over the image and click the trash can icon if you want to remove the image. Click over the image and you can upload a photo to place here or click media library to upload images already uploaded in WordPress. I'll click the X button. I'll click the nine dots at the top to get back to where you can drag stuff into the page. I'll scroll down a bit on the page. You can select what you want over on the left and drag it in wherever you'd like it. If you right click on an area, you can delete it if you don't want it. By right clicking, you can duplicate something if you need to duplicate it. You can drag something over to somewhere else on the page by selecting it and dragging it over to where you want it. Over on the left, you'll see where you can link out the text to a page, change the alignment of the text. If you scroll down to the drag widget here section, click the plus icon. You can select the structure of the section of the page you want. I'll select this one. You can then drag in whatever you'd like in the sections. If you click the folder icon, then click blocks in the menu, you can scroll through lots of pre-made blocks that you can add to a page of your site and then start replacing with your content. This makes designing your site quick and easy because you can find almost any kind of design you want for a part of the page and start building it easily. I'll select one. Click the insert button to insert it to the page. When you click the insert button on the block you like at first, you'll need to create a free Elementor account. Once it is created, you'll be able to add the blocks in quick and easy. I'll click the insert button. What I selected is now inserted on the page where I can begin editing. I'll scroll back down to the drag widget here section. If you click the starter templates icon, you can click blocks in the menu and then it'll give you lots more page design ideas you can choose from. For these, you can just click one you like. I'll click this one and then I'll click the import button to import it to the page to then start adding your own content and editing it how you want it. Now I want to cover the contact us form to show you how this works. I'm just going to drag over the WP forms. You can select the form. If you want to make edits to the form, click edit the selected form. You can click the create a new form if you want to create a new form. I'm going to click edit the selected form. It's now going to bring up the builder for the contact us form. You can hover over an area to delete it or duplicate it. You can click an area and drag it to wherever you'd like it. If you want to add something, you can drag it over from the side. If you click field options, you can click on a part of the form and then make changes from the side. You can select to make this part of the form a required or not required part to fill out. If you click advanced, you can click the part of the form you want to change and you can select between the size of the form field for that area and then change if you want anything to show in the form field where they input their information. You can click preview to preview the form. Click save to save changes. When you are done, click the X button and you'll be taken back to the editor for the page. Let's get to know the drag and drop editor Elementor better. At the bottom left of the page, you'll see the update button. Click this when you want to update the changes you've made. If you click the arrow, you can save it as a draft or save this page as a template to then use for another template of another page you create. To view changes you've made to your site, click the preview changes button and it'll showcase your site. If you click responsive mode, 
you can view what your site looks like on desktop, tablet, or mobile devices. If you click the menu icon in the top left and click Site Settings, you can change the colors of your site, fonts, and more. I'll click the X button. Click the menu icon. If you choose View Page, it'll show you the view of the page, and this is the easiest way to get back to the WordPress dashboard. If you want to make edits to a certain page on your site, you can click it in the menu and then click Edit with Elementor. To go to the WordPress dashboard, hover over your site title name and click Dashboard. If you hover over the Pages tab, click Add New to add a new page to your site. If you click All Pages, it'll showcase all the pages on your site. If you hover over the Media tab and click on Library, it'll show you all the images you've uploaded in WordPress. If you click Add New at the top, you can then upload or drag in an image into WordPress. If you hover over Post and click Add New, you can create a new blog post for your site. If you click All Posts, it'll pull up all the posts you have on your site. If you click the Comments tab, you will see all the comments you have on your blog post. You can easily reply, mark it as spam, or trash the comment. If you hover over the Plugins tab and click Add New, you can then search for or browse plugins to add to your site. Any feature or customization you might want on your site, more than likely there's a plugin for that. If you hover over the Appearance tab in the left side menu, click on Menus. This is where you can edit the menu on your site. You can add new pages to the menu or drag a page to a different order. If you click the tiny arrow, you can change the name of it or completely delete it from the menu. If you want to create a completely new menu, you can click Create a new menu. Now let me show you how to make edits to the footer area of your site along with uploading a logo, favicon, and other customizations. If you hover over the Appearance tab in the side menu and click Customize, you'll be on the Customize page. Click the Footer Builder. You can then click an area in the footer area where you see the pencil icon to start making edits to that section over on the left side. You can also click what you'd like to edit in the left side area. Both will take you to the same place to make edits like seen here. If you click the plus icon, you can then add whatever you like to the footer area in that section. If you hover over an area of the footer and click the design button, you can then design things like link colors, font colors, fonts, and more. You can click the X button to remove that area from the footer. If you click the pencil icon here on the left hand side, you can then choose how many columns you want your footer to be. You can then click the plus icon to add sections to that part of the footer. I'm going to click the back arrow twice. If you click Site Identity, you can then upload a logo and a favicon, which is the site icon for your site. Click Select Site Icon to then upload your site icon, also known as the favicon, for your site. If you click Site Title and Logo Settings, you can then change the logo to your own and make other customizations to the logo area for your site. I'm going to click the back button twice. You'll now see a bunch of different options you can select from for different parts of the site such as header builder, blog, pages, sidebar, performance to help speed up your site, and more. You now know how to access pre-made professional templates, how to use INS and WordPress together to create your WordPress site and making edits to it using the drag and drop editor, Elementor Page Builder. That is my INS WordPress tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment letting us know if the tutorial was helpful or not as the comments help improve our tutorials. 
Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more INS hosting tutorial videos.